uh, tutorial, I just want to show you guys how you can use this shared point, shared reference point for Revit. Uh, essentially, uh, it's an extension from Autodesk that you can use to establish coordinate system based on what we have in Civil 3D. But in this tutorial, I'm just uh, we are going to establish. Uh, we're going to extract existing surface from InfraWorks and then we're going to take it to Civil 3D and after that we're going to take it to Revit. Uh, so essentially we're going to use an existing surface and we're going to draw like uh, a block in Civil 3D which we can think of as a building and then we're going to uh, use this shared reference point for one of the points in that building so that we can use it as a base point in Revit. So without further ado, this is actually how you can download the extension when you go to the Autodesk website. You can just go under the version of Revit you are using and then you can download the extension and then restart your Revit and then it will appear as one of the plugins in Revit, which I will show you in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's start. So I'm gonna start in InfraWorks. Like I said, we're just gonna uh, use Model Builder. So Model Builder essentially is where you can extract the existing surface um, from around uh, anywhere in the world. And then you have to use the relevant coordinate system to establish um, that certain surface so that it can be correctly placed when you take it to Civil 3D. So essentially the process is uh, you build the model in InfraWorks and then you export it as an IMX into Civil 3D and use the same coordinate system in Civil 3D and then after that you're gonna save it as a DWG and then take the surface to Revit. So I'm just gonna change uh, uh, so, so that the base point can show much uh, perfect. So in this instance, I'm just going to search for Sentin. I'm going to type in Sentin. That is what we are going to use. Sentin South Africa. And then I'm just going to go to uh, the north. So I think there's an open land right here. I think we can use it. Oh, there are buildings there. Actually, we can just, I think we can use this area. So type in Sentin and then make sure you um, you, you scroll uh, towards this area. Uh, this area is where I actually built my first BIM model when I was working on the contractors. Uh, so I'm just going to use this section for this demonstration. So I'm just going to name this model as um, uh, site. And then after this, I'm going to go under coordinate system, select non there's non selected so we have to establish coordinate system so for sentin which is based in johannesburg we're going to use uh, lo29 so i'm just going to type in lo29 and then double click right there so after this uh, you have different options to capture your your surface either you can use a rectangle uh, which is going to be based like this or you can use a polygon which you can draw your line and then it's gonna establish a boundary like this or you can use import polygon so either you have a polygon from maybe google earth or something you can just import it into into that section and then extract your surface like that so in this instance i'm just going to use this one that i've just uh, did which is um, the polygon and then after that i'm just going to say uh, create model so in this instance I've, it's creating a model which means it's extracting the existing data from from this base map and then you're going to get an email based on the account that you use to sign into infraworks that your model is ready basically yeah, yes your model is ready and then after that you can just say continue and then uh, you're going to have to close this down after that your site model 
the, the model that you just created is gonna appear there and then that's when you know that it's ready to go and then after that we're gonna go to civil 3d so we're gonna have to wait for our model okay so the site model has finished to to generate and then after that you can see it right there so you're gonna click on it and after that there's gonna be a pop-up which means you have different options on where you can save this model either you can save it on Autorest docs if you are working in a collaborative environment or you can save it locally so in this instance i'm just gonna save it locally and then i'm gonna choose where i can i can store it so after that it's gonna download and then uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna export it to uh, IMX. So after this, your model is created and all the existing infrastructure and also uh, the landscape comes with the model. As you can see, there's a tunnel running under under the streets, which is the Houtrin tunnel. Uh, also, we have the these existing um, roads and also we have the, the rivers and also the trees. So after this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to present or share. And then we're going to drop this down the share option and then we're going to say export imx so in this instance make sure your target coordinate system is the the same as the one that you set up before you set up your your model and then you can just uh, choose where you can save your your file by choosing your file extension so i'm just going to save this as site and the extension is going to be dot imx and then I'm gonna I'm gonna export it. So after the export is done, I'm gonna go to Civil 3D. So in Civil 3D, I'm just gonna open up a new template. And then you might have noticed that Civil 3D, um, the latest versions, I think they come with the InfraWorks uh, extension, in InfraWorks tab. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna say under import, you're gonna say open model, and then you're gonna uh browse where you save your your model i'm gonna choose this one site and say open and you might have noticed there's a red line uh, there's a red uh, markup here which says please set a coordinate system i think it's a good thing so because you have to set up your coordinate system in civil 3d so you're gonna say set coordinate system and you have three different options use the infraworks model coordinate system select the coordinate system for a drawing which you can uh, set up yourself or use the coordinate system that you have set up um, from infraworks so i'm just gonna go with the first option and then uh, to ref refine your selection means you you have an option to exclude some infrastructure and include certain infrastructure so in this instance i'm just gonna deselect the plane the roads and also the water areas and then also i'm just gonna exclude the 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 road uh, surface which is existing transportation so i'm only gonna be left with terrain surfaces and existing ground and, and then i'm gonna say okay and then after this i'm just gonna say open model and then it's gonna uh, generate your your surface like this based on the polygon that you that you did in in infraworks so i'm going to select the surface in this instance it's a boundary so i'm going to right click and say surface uh, properties and then i'm going to change this to contours two meter and ten meter with border and then apply and then i'm going to say okay so this is how it looks so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna save this as a dwg 
um, I'm going to save this as a DWG, so I'm going to name it site and then say save. Okay, so after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to home and then I'm going to draw a random rectangle. Uh, so think of it as a building. So I'm just going to place it like that. All right, so after this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up Revit. So I'm just going to open up a new template. I'm going to go to site and then I'm going to say insert and say link CAD and then I'm going to link the DWG that I that I have just saved. So which is this one site, make sure the positioning is set to origin to internal origin and say open. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom towards the DWG so that I can see where it is. So if I go to the 3D view and filter, check none, DWG, okay, it's based there. So this is where the DWG is based. So what I'm going to do is because the DWG comes with the coordinate system, I'm going to go to manage in our tabs and then I'm going to drop down the coordinates uh, option and say acquire coordinates and then select the DWG and as you can see it's going to indicate that the GIS coordinate system is the same as the one that we set initially in InfraWorks and also Civil 3D so I'm going to close it down and then I'm going to go back to site and uh, let me just set press VR set this to unlimited uh, apply and then OK and then just want to see where my DWG is based. Okay, this is where it's based. Uh, it, you might have noticed that our our base point hasn't changed yet, but it still acquired our coordinate system. So this is where our shared reference point uh, extension comes in. So, um, like I said, after you download that extension from Autodesk website, you have to go to add-ins in Revit and then make sure you have this import shared coordinates from XML file. And as you can see, it's written shared reference point, which means it's uh, perfectly installed into your Revit. So, after this, like uh, uh, we're going to go back to Civil 3D and I'm just going to remove the surface for now and i'm only going to be left with our block so our block uh, since it's placed there based on the surface it's also uh, uh it's also coordinated perfectly it's in a real world place so in order for us to test the extension in civil 3d you're going to go to toolbox and then under miscellaneous utilities you're going to drop it down and then you have this option of shared reference point you're going to drop it down and then you have this shared reference point you're going to click on it right click and say execute after that you're going to choose one of the the, the points so i'm going to choose this one as my base point in this instance and then i'm going to scroll up and then select the randomly upwards so as you can see it's gonna uh, establish your 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 base point based on the coordinates of that certain point that you have just selected so i'm just going to use meters in this instance and then as you can see you have the x y and z and then you're going to say okay after you say okay it's going to create an xml file that is containing uh, those certain coordinates and also the z axis so you're going to save that xml file and then go back to revit and then in revit you're going to go to um, you're going to go to import shared coordinates from XML file. You're going to select your base point, select again, and then uh, choose that XML file and say open. And then it says, are you sure to create the new shared coordinates, my shared reference point, which is that XML uh, file. And then you're going to say yes, and then you're going to say okay. But after this, as you can see, the base point still hasn't changed. The survey point, the internal origin, the base point are still on the same place. So in order for you to change this, you're going to go to manage and then you're going to go to location. Under location, you're going to go to site. And then as you can see, this is the XML or rather the new 
a reference point that we have established so you're going to select it and say make current and then the default side you're going to delete it and then you're going to say okay and as you can see your your site is going to move into the same place the, the correct place and as you can see this point is uh, the one that we have established in civil 3d which is based right there so essentially if i save this as a building uh, so I'm gonna save this as a as a building and then I'm gonna save so this one I'm gonna save it as a DWG building and then when I go back to Revit and say insert and say link CAD I'm gonna select that uh, building uh, DWG so in position I'm gonna change it from origin to internal origin rather to shared coordinates and then I'm gonna say open and then it's gonna be placed right on the correct location like that so yeah that is it um uh, that is how the shared reference point uh, plugin or extension works uh, you can use it for interoperability between civil 3d and revit thank you guys for watching and i hope you learned something and i will see you next time peace